Good morning, uh, or afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, my name is Devin, and you are back at Cap Kids Art Corner. Uh, we have a fun art activity today for you, uh, but first, I wanted to take a second to talk about anxiety with you guys. Um, what is anxiety? Um, anxiety are feelings of, anxiety is feelings of fear or nervousness or being scared. Um, all of those are very normal feelings, but when we have anxiety, sometimes those feelings feel really big. Sometimes they feel unmanageable. Um, and as we've talked before, anxiety sometimes lives in our bodies a little bit. I know I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety uh, recently just because of being stuck at home and not being with you guys, uh, not being able to do some of the things that I miss that I like to do. Um, so I wanted to talk about anxiety for a second because oftentimes when we have these big feelings, it feels like something's wrong. It feels like something's not normal. Um, and I wanted to take a second to talk about how normal anxiety is. Um, Anxiety is adaptive, which means that our ancestors back, 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 way back uh, when we were cavemen, um, they needed to experience fear because it kept them safe, right? Um, so if we were walking in the woods and we saw a bear, um, our anxiety would tell us to do one of three things. Um, fight, maybe yell at the bear to try to scare him away. Flight, which means running away from the bear, or freeze, which means not moving at all. Um, so we have these fear responses that are built way down in us from back when we were cavemen, and those responses are fight, flight, and freeze. And those things keep us safe. But sometimes our anxiety tells us that we're in danger when we're actually not. So our bodies tell us to fight or freeze flight, flee, <laughs> or freeze, when we don't actually need to do these things. Um, and that's where it comes in handy to be able to recognize whether there's real danger or not. Um, because anxiety often tells us that there's something to worry about uh, when there isn't. And I wanted to share one of my favorite coping skills. We've talked about coping skills before, I believe. Things that uh, you can do to make yourself feel better. Uh, one of my favorite coping skills to deal with anxiety whenever I feel nervous or anxious. Um, so as always, we want to take a second to check in with our body. Let's take a couple deep breaths. Just in and out. In. Do one more for good luck. In and out. All right. So we're gonna use we're gonna use our imagination for a second because um, I know that everybody watching this has got an awesome imagination. So we're gonna use our imagination, and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to recreate or imagine your favorite place in the whole world. Um, we are creating our safe space in our minds. So this is where the five senses comes back in handy. Um, when you think of this space, I don't want you to just think about how it looks. I want you to think about the sounds that you hear when you're in this place. I want you to think about things that you can touch when you're in this place, how those things feel. Are there any smells that come to you? You are recreating this space in your mind. So take a second and do that. Now, how is this helping? This helps you because when you go to that safe space in your mind, you are reminding yourself that you are, you're, you're speaking to your anxiety, right? Um, oftentimes in my work as a therapist with kids, we talk about the anxiety bully, right? So the anxiety sometimes tells you that something's wrong when it's not. And it gives you things to worry about that we don't necessarily need to worry about. So when we go to our safe space in our mind, 
we're reminding ourselves that we're in control. It's not the anxiety, it's us. And that we have the power to create that safe space for ourselves, even when your actual surroundings might be overstimulating, they might be loud, they might be upsetting, they might just be a little bit out of your control and uncomfortable. But you always have your imagination and you always have that safe space in your mind to recreate um, and to go to. So as always, I really want to hear from you guys. So if you want to shoot me an email, um, I just realized that because these videos are for kids, uh, there isn't commenting on the videos on YouTube. So I apologize for that. Um, but you can shoot me an email at devin at capkids.org. Um, tell me about your safe space. I would love to hear about it. Um, and now I'm going to have you press the pause button, make sure you have all the supplies that you need for this art activity today. Uh, there should have been a list at the beginning of the video, but I will tell you again what we need. Uh, we need some paper. We need a paintbrush. A uh, larger paintbrush is probably better for this activity. We need a styrofoam plate, um, and we need a pen or a pencil. And did I say paint? If I didn't say paint, you can need that too. Um, as many colors as you want. I think I'm just going to be using one or two colors today. Um, but you are the artist, so there's no wrong answer. It's up to you. Um, all right, check back in with me in a minute, and we'll get started on our printmaking activity today. Welcome back. Uh, let's grab our styrofoam plates. You might notice mine is not a plate. Uh, mine is actually a paint tray that I've cut the edges off to use. Um, but a plate is going to work just as well as anything else. But you got to make sure it's made of styrofoam because what do we notice about styrofoam? Styrofoam is really easy to kind of carve into, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to kind of make our own stamps. Um, so let's think about what we want to draw a picture of. We're going to start real simple. Um, I am actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to draw a picture, I'm going to draw a picture of a boat on the water. Um, I took a walk yesterday and I went outside for a little bit uh, and I walked down to the water and there was a sailboat going by uh, and it was just kind of like a calm image for me. So I'm going to draw a picture of waves and a sailboat. Now you can draw a picture of anything that you want. We want to keep the drawing fairly simple, okay, with not a lot of details. Uh, now, one thing I want to tell you to keep in mind when you're working on your stamp uh, is that when we make a stamp and we print it, it goes, it, it creates a mirror image of your drawing. So if you maybe you want to draw your name, or you want to draw someone else's name, uh, you can absolutely do that, but you got to draw the letters backwards. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of an extra challenge. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm not doing letters, is because I have a hard time drawing letters backwards. So we are going to do an image. I'm going to do an image that makes sense uh, both ways. All right, so let's see. I got my sailboat, and my sailboat has a sail. And it's in the water, and I'm going to give, it's going to be a sunny day, I think. Okay. And I am using a pen. You can use a pencil, uh, as long as it is kind of pointy enough to carve into. All right, so I got my boat. I got my waves. I got my sun. Um, now, you'll notice that wherever we drew is now kind of indented a little bit. We've carved our image into the styrofoam. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take your paint. Uh, I am going to make a purple print today. Um, you can use any paint that you have around the house. Any paint should work. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to cover our whole plate with this paint. Now when you apply the paint, I want you to apply the paint just in one direction. So start from one side and go to the other, like this. We're not going back and forth like this, okay? So we're starting on one end, 
we're getting paint all the way across and then we're picking our brush up and starting on that end at the same uh, on the same end the reason we want to do this is when we're painting our paint's going to go over the carved parts that we did but when we go back and forth like this then the paint's going to get in that carved part and it's not going to produce the best stamp that it possibly could so I'm putting paint on, brushing in the same direction. There we go. I need a little bit more purple paint. Okay. Now, when you're applying your paint, take a look and see if maybe the paint. Maybe your paint's a little bit watery and it's getting in the creases of the drawing that you just did. So you also, when you're finished applying paint, you have the option of going over your drawing again to kind of get some of that extra paint out. That's what I'm going to do just to make sure that it turns out as well as it possibly could. So what I'm doing now see if I can help you guys see a little bit what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going over the drawing that I already did and kind of carving these little pieces out. There's a little bit of paint collecting on my pen, so I'm kind of wiping it off on a paper towel that I have next to me. Okay. And this part is totally optional. You don't need to do this. I just feel like it might help my drawing turn out nice. And you might hear Georgie barking in the background. He just wants to say hi. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have our stamp, and our stamp has paint on it. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper. I have a few different colors. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a white. I think we're going to try white. You can try any color. And you're going to pick up your stamp and you're going to put your paper down like this. Now you want to try to avoid the stamp moving once it hits the paper because if it moves it's going to rub it a little bit um, and you might not get the clearest picture. So in one kind of quick motion we're going to Set it down. Mine went a little bit crooked, but that's okay. And we're going to press it. I want to pat it down. Okay. We're ready to see how our stamp turned out. It turned out pretty good. I lost the sun a little bit, but that's okay. Do you guys want to see? There we go. Awesome. So the cool thing about this is, is that this stamp is now something that you can reuse. So if you want to go into the sink and wash the paint off and make another stamp with a different color, um, or even take a big piece of paper and make a bunch of stamps in all different colors, um, kind of like Andy Warhol-ish, if you guys like Andy Warhol or know him, he's an artist that did a lot of printmaking, um, you can do something like that. Uh, but that is how you do printmaking at home. Uh, as always, I'm really happy that you guys are here watching the videos, creating art. Um, if I can ask you to do one thing for a checkout, I want you to think of one nice thing that you can say to yourself. Um, oftentimes we forget to be nice to ourselves. Um, and I think that's also a really important part of managing our feelings is being kind to ourselves. So you don't even need to say it out loud. Think of something. Uh, think of a happy thought that you have about yourself. No, Georgie's, Georgie's made an appearance. Hi, G. <laughs> um, think of a happy thought that you have about yourself. Maybe you know that you're really good at basketball. Maybe you're really creative. Maybe you're kind. Maybe you enjoy being helpful. Maybe you're a good friend. Um, it's important to say these things to ourselves because it helps improve our relationship with ourselves, which is a very, very important thing. Um,
Thank you as always, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day.